Hi everybody. Today I wanted to talk about the pre-med curriculum and pre-med classes. Now this seems like a pretty easy topic for most people and it is because there's basically a pre-prescribed curriculum that every pre-med in the country has to follow before they get to medical school. That said, I definitely get a lot of students coming to me in their senior year and realizing, oh no, I forgot to take class X or class Y, what do I do? So I'm hoping that this eliminates that possibility for you. Now, you guys know the basic pre-med curriculum. It consists of general chemistry, biology, physics, orgo, the dreaded orgo, as the basic prerequisites. Now you probably also know that all of these typically are two semesters. One plus two, and these are all required. And then they all have a lab component, all required as well. So these are the basics, right? You know that these are required. These are the MCAT tested topics and you have to take these. But there's a few other courses that most schools want you to take or that you should take prior to actually taking the MCAT. So I consider these part of the pre-med curriculum. One of them is math. And math is typically either broken up into a calculus-based course or a statistics-based course, or both, in the sense that some medical schools actually want you to have both calc and both stats into your pre-med curriculum. Now, different medical schools require some differences in their math requirement. Different medical schools have differences in their math requirements. Some require calc, some require stat, some require both, some require two semesters of calc. So it's best to check ahead of time if you have a dream school, what you want to do and where you want to fit this in. That said, because most schools require at least one to two semesters of mathematics, I would put it into your four-year curriculum right up front. And I would put a calculus course and a statistics course particularly because statistics is actually a really good thing for a physician and a pre-med to know, and calculus is gonna be required by a lot of schools. Now, what else? English slash writing. Now, these courses are required by most, if not every medical school around the country. They typically are gonna require two semesters of English and writing, and so, Early on, you want to get these done. The reason I want to say early on is because obviously as you get further and further into your undergrad career and maybe you're more specialized in your major, which might be biology or chemistry or religion or whatever it is, you may not have too much of a chance to take these basic English and writing courses. The other important thing about this that a lot of students miss is that most medical schools will require a non-science letter recommendation. Some even specify that it should come from a professor in a writing or English type course. So if you take these courses early on, this is your opportunity to get letters of recommendation. So when you take it in freshman year, I want you to really do well, sit down with your professor, understand who they are, get them to write you a letter of recommendation so that you don't have to worry about it later on. Now, there's a couple of the courses that medical schools are wanting to see or that you're going to want to take because you have to take the MCAT. That's biochem and typically just one semester of biochem is enough or the first sequence of it. That's psych and that's sociology. Psych and sociology are tested on the MCAT, right? There's the new behavioral section that needs to be taken one semester of each before you take the MCAT in order to really do well on the MCAT. And so I typically recommend that most students put this into their four year curriculum right up front. So the basics, right? You all know you need general chemistry, you all know you need biology, physics, and orgo. That's gonna be in every single pre-med curriculum. I want you as a pre-med to include these five courses or five subjects math, English, slash writing, biochem, psych, and soc, into your four-year plan right up front. So if you're watching this early in your freshman year, I want you to include all of this into your four-year plan so that you don't get to senior year and realize, oh no, my school that I really want to go to, let's say it's UC Davis, I'm making that up, but UC Davis Medical School really requires me to have biochem and I never took it. Shoot, what am I going to do now? Or 
I really want to go to Columbia and Columbia requires two semesters of English and writing courses and I didn't take them in my freshman year. What do I do now? Now you're left scrambling. So I would really recommend that you try to take these ahead of time or at least put them into your four year curriculum somewhere so that you're ready to go when it comes time to apply. Obviously, these courses are the basis of your MCAT and so doing really well on these courses is huge because you're going to, the best studying for the MCAT is doing well on these. And so putting these into your curriculum before you take the MCAT I think is extremely important. So you may want to get these done by let's say junior year so that you can study for the MCAT while having the prerequisite knowledge already in. Now, this is what I recommend for almost every pre-med around the country, but there are some variations. The important thing about variations is follow whatever your school's pre-med curriculum is. So they may have a slightly different cur curriculum, sorry, or they may be on the quarter system and some of these one, two plus labs may not apply to you exactly. But if you follow what your pre-med curriculum is at school, you're gonna be fine. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that medical schools sometimes can be somewhat lenient on these requisites, but that's really only for great candidates. I remember myself when I applied to medical school, I actually never took biology lab and I never took orgo too because I had gotten into med school and I basically emailed them and said, listen, I wanna spend my second semester of my senior year taking courses that I think are gonna be a little bit more relevant to me in life. And they said, okay, but that was honestly because I had done really well in all these other courses beforehand. If you're a marginal candidate, your med schools aren't going to really make that exception for you. You kind of have to be into medical school and have an acceptance in hand before you can really play that card. So for the vast majority of people, this is the pre-med curriculum that we recommend that you're going to want to get involved with and have taken prior to applying to your applying to medical school or at least have most of these courses done while you before you apply to medical school. You can have a course or two that goes on while you're applying to medical school. So let's say you're applying in your junior year and you still have your senior year to go. You can actually take maybe one or two of these courses during your senior year before you get in or while you're applying, that's okay. But again, it's better to sort of have planned this all out and not have to worry about it if you can. So that's your basic pre-med curriculum, right? This is what you gotta take, plan it out ahead of time and you'll be okay.